Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is, gosh, Wednesday and I am going to do, I, have, I really wanted to get together this wonderful video and make you all of my favorites for each category and be really organized, but this week has just not worked out that way. We've had, yesterday and today, we've had the two hour delay in school because I live kind of outside of the city and a lot of our roads get frozen over and so they'll delay the school so that for one thing i think so that the kids don't have to stand out at the bus stop that early and that cold and two so that the roads kind of get worn in for the buses and stuff so that has put me behind um and i started my I, you know i've had a membership to the gym for in last years year now. i just did not ever feel inspired enough to go to the gym and you guys know i am not a big workout girl I don't like tennis shoes I don't like workout clothes I'm just that's just not my thing but I do I have always been active and I've always been pretty fit and I have in the past gone to trainers and stuff like that so I do know that I like the way that feels and I was just ready this year I'm just ready to do it so you'll probably notice that my videos might be oh gosh I might not be dressed up as much like today I just have on one of my tank tops and I had gone to Target and bought one of these little athletic and bras so, and I just didn't want to spend a whole bunch of money on workout clothes because I've already got so many pairs of sweatpants and yoga pants and um, so I didn't get anything else I did go to the section and get a bunch more of the tank tops you know the everyday you know those good Massimo tank tops so Anyway, but I'm not going to work out on Friday, so I will, I, that's how what I'm telling myself is I will be able to dress up on Fridays. But, um, and um, let's see, so what I did this morning is I wanted to make a video, and so I thought, well, I'll just put in a basket a few of my favorite things that I used this year. I didn't try to get exciting. I really tried to show you my true basics and my true the things that I feel very confident that if you were to go out and get you would like I mean of course there's things that are a lot more exciting and new but this is my true true favorites and I, did, I have them in no order I just have them in this little basket so I'm just gonna kind of take them out here and we go. show you what they I'm are gonna dive in Mac fix plus this has been a favorite of mine for years and years and years since before I started making YouTube videos and I have tried every other spray. I like a lot of the other ones for other like skincare benefits and they feel good and everything but to set my makeup and to get rid of like that powdery finish and to make everything kind of melt together I like to spray generously with the MAC Fix Plus and then I usually either stand in front of our heater, we have a little space heater in front of the shower or I will use if I have my blow dryer out, blow dry, and it gives your skin just the prettiest glow. So Mac Fix Plus for sure. Um, my standout foundation of the year has been my Makeup Forever HD. I love this color. It's 128. I've had 125 and 127. I just gave 127 to my mom, and she likes it. But it's just a good basic foundation. It is just medium coverage, and um. I do wear it over my Rachel K that I'm going to show you, which, you know, gives me a little, a little foundation or a little color correcting and stuff anyway, but this has just been a good one. So, out of all the ones I've gotten, I've liked that probably the best. Um, let's see, and this is going to be all over the place. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. My, my videos are just going to be kind of crazy for a little bit till I get organized. Mascara. I have a basket full of Dior, Chanel, um, every mascara. I mean, every drugstore. I mean, every. I, I bet I have 20 mascaras in there. And I always go back to this. I just rekindled our love <laughs> and love it. Maybelline. Let's see. There was that one that um, is Lash Stylist that's discontinued. They had a little comb. That would be another one. But it's, like I said, discontinued. And, um... The L'Oreal, the one that's got the real skinny, um, it used to be called Accentuous. I'm not sure what it's called right now. I'll put it, it's not Voluminous, it's the other one. Um, but I'll put it, the name down here. That's I like that one too. But all in all, if I had to have one mascara, I would use this. Okay. Um, oh, goodness. Let me let me try to organize this. I think this I've just got it in some, some kind of order now. Okay, some of these things have been my favorites for years. Like... 
some of them since before I started YouTube and some of them for the last couple years. And I know they're redundant, but they're just still my favorites. So one of those things is my Rachel K CC cream. You know, they just came out with the new Rachel K Renew. If you did not like this formula, then you will probably love the Renew because the new Renew is has a little bit more of a luminous finish. It has more skincare benefits. It's a little bit more of a silky finish. It has more coverage. Um, it's not as gray and it can be used more as a foundation. And I can use the light and the medium. And if I want to, matter of fact, when I went to the gym on Monday, I just put on the medium real quick and dusted some powder over it and took the kids to school and went straight to the gym and it was perfect. Now, if I want to put on foundation and just get a flawless face, I still prefer the Rachel K CC Cream in neutral because I use this as a primer. And it just, both of them are high in SPF. I believe it's 35. Both of them have skincare benefits. This one is, if you have oilier skin or you just want to use it as a primer, I would suggest this one. And that's what I do. And I love it. I will hopefully never, ever, ever be without it. Whether I am on YouTube or not, I love this. My mom loves it. And I just can't imagine being without it. Okay, um, Laura Mercier powder. I think the only change I made with this this year is I went to rich vanilla. I have worn natural beige. I've worn classic beige for a long time. And now I like the rich vanilla. It's more of a medium tone and it's more golden. Um, it's hard to tell here, but this is what I use. And I can easily just put on the... Matter of fact, one of my favorite things to do, if I have the time to really get it perfect is to just wear the Rachel K Neutral and the Laura Mercier Powder. I don't even need a foundation. But it takes me taking the time to just swirl and swirl and swirl and make sure I've gotten every little crevice. Whereas with a liquid foundation, you know how you can just take a brush and just go all over real quick and then you can just dust this. But really my favorite is just these two. Okay, now that I feel like since I hit on the mascara, I'll go ahead and kind of carry on with that. Favorite eyelash curler. I've had the Shu Yumira. I've had the Tarte. Um, I didn't get the Chanel. I wanted that one, but I was too late. Um, I've had just many, many eyelash curlers, and my favorite has been this one that I just picked up on a whim, and it is the, I believe it's the Shiseido. Um, yeah, the Shiseido Lash Curler. I think with my shape eyes, it's just perfect. I don't know if, I think that's one of those things you kind of have to find the right one for you, but I love this. And it never like pinches or pulls my eyelashes like some of them do. And it's just perfect. It gives them the perfect amount of curl and I love it. I need to get hey, another one for my have any, Okay, eyebrows. Okay, I'll do a little combo with this. This Haku Hodo brush, and it does not have the number. And there is a bunch of them. I did an Instagram post a couple of months ago on the exact number of this, and um, so I'll put my Instagram link below, but this is the best brush. My friend Colleen Rothschild told me about it. I used it today. If I want to take the time to use a brush, this is by far the fa my favorite, and I have had every Chanel, Laura Mercier, MAC, um, just every brow brush you can imagine, Anastasia. Um, Smashbox, Benefit, I've had them all, and this one creates the prettiest brow to me. It just, oh, it just makes it perfect. So that brush, and then this has been my favorite powder. I could give honorable mention to uh, NARS Blondie Shadow. I like that for my brows. Of course, I like MAC Omega. I like the MAC Fling Pencil, if I'm just going to do a real quick pencil, but I've really enjoyed this. And you can see it's even got a dip in it, which for me is a big deal because I go on to other things, but I have, if I ran out of this or if I lost it, I would go immediately and get another one. And it is the Medium Brown Brow, Brow Powder Duo. It just says Medium Brown. I thought it said Medium Ash, but that's what it says. And I got it just a couple months ago. And then this is my favorite brow gel. It's the Anastasia. This one has gotten kind of funky because, you know, I put it on right over my brow powder. But typically, it's this pretty blonde, goldy color. It's gotten kind of funky down here because, you know, that's just how they do. 
and I like the clear one too. And I just started the using the Benefit Gimme Brow, and I like that, but I wouldn't think everybody would like that. I would think everybody would probably like this. I got my mom the clear one, and she loves it. And she doesn't do anything to her brows. She doesn't even pluck her brows. Her brows are just not very crazy. They're just natural looking brows. So she said, wow, I can't believe how good that stuff works. So, um, okay, we'll go on with a few complexion things. Giorgio Armani, Master Corrector, number one. I have so many questions on why do I use number one. It's just, I have to be honest, it's because Donna Shorts won. She's the one that got me turned on to this. And I ordered this from, I believe it was Barney's, and it was a makeup artist that she worked with. And I just asked for it, and this is what they sent me, and I have loved it ever since. I put it right in the deepest, darkest places under my eyes. It has a real small little wand, and um, I really could not go without it. It makes a big difference to me. Some people, you know, may not care for it, but gee, that's just how everything is. Okay, concealers. Oh, let's see. I don't think I have any other ones that I want. The NARS, eh you know, all that. This one is a new one I just got and I love. So I wanted to just mention it. It's the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Concealer in Light Medium. I'm curious, this is perfect when I don't want a lot of brightness under my eyes. Um, but I would, I'm curious just to try the light because this one is almost the exact same color as my skin. So if I ever do want any brightness, this wouldn't be the one, but this comes in handy. I do like this for that reason. Um, the La Mer Concealer I like, but I don't think everybody would like it, and it's very expensive, so it's not anything I would just say run right out and get. I would say try that because it is thicker, and it's very intense, and I have to work with it in a certain way. I have to pat it in really, really well so I don't feel safe just telling everybody that they would like it. Um, this, I feel very safe telling everyone to try. It's the Maybelline Dream Lumi in the little clicky pen form. Um, I have Buff and Radiant, and this is the one I use today, which is Radiant. And you can see how it's radiant under my eyes. Matter of fact, after I put it on, I thought, ooh, that might be a little too radiant. <laughs> but um, love it. I would just recommend this to everybody. Buff is more of my skin tone. Radiant is more of like the highlighting type. Um, another one is Radiant Rose by MAC Prep and Prime. Love that. I bought the Light Boost, and I still like the Radiant Rose better. And then this one, Cargo Blu-ray HD Concealer. I also have the two, a really light one and a darker one in this. And this is a little different. It is the um, spongy one that you twist up, and it comes out, and then you put it on. And I usually just blend these in with my finger or... The little blending brush from Real Techniques is a good one. And um, so these concealers I would wholeheartedly recommend. And I'm going to go, I probably will not have time today, but I really, really want to try the MAC Pro Long Wear. But I don't want to order it because I want to go and see what color they have. Highlighters. Think I, wear. I am not the best person to give recommendations for highlighters because I love them, I try them all. But I always go back to wanting, like today I don't have a highlighter on, but you can see I still have kind of like a luminous finish. And that is because of the blush that I use and the makeup that I use and the Fix Plus. And just everything I use is pretty luminous. But if I do want to use a highlighter, I've got two that are just phenomenal, I think. And one of them is the RMS, RMS Beauty. A couple of these things are Donna Shorts recommendations. Um, this is just a real plain cream highlighter. I love it. It's just gorgeous. It doesn't even give like a color. Like you can't say it's white or pink or silver. It actually, and I hope you can see this, um, it actually just gives a almost like a wet look or a glistening look. It's almost like a gloss for your face. A clear gloss it's just beautiful but it's not greasy it's definitely um, will stick and if I want to use it somewhere a lot of times I like using it right here like right beside my eyes in that little area and I make sure I don't put the same finger in there so I don't get any makeup in it and I'll use it right there 
just to give me a little lift right there at the corners of my eyes and I love it love it it's I bought this and another some other things I am going to show you from Beautylish and that's a wonderful website I want to order some of Goss's brushes but I've been trying to be a little bit better and um, so I got this from there okay my other tried and true uh, highlighter that if I'm going to use a powder highlight my friend Olivia in Canada sent me this to sent this to me years ago and it is the Lorac Spotlight and you can see it doesn't look like anything you know that wonderful but it is it's really pretty it's one that doesn't it's not obnoxious it's not like a MAC MSF it's not going to give you if you really want bling bling to go out at night or something this might not be it but this is really I think age appropriate for anyone and daytime appropriate both of these both of these are very good for aging skin i believe because i don't like to look like i have a highlighter on i want to look just luminous so to go along with that you guys are going to get so every year you're going to see these two blushes and i can't help it because i have gotten some just beautiful phenomenal blushes this year the Dior Rosy Glow is one of them. Um, gosh, some... Oh, the Smashbox one is real pretty. I've gotten some other MAC ones that are real pretty. But day in and day out, if I just am in the biggest hurry or if I want to know for a fact that I'm going to like my blush, I use these. And it's the Lorac Exposed and Velvet Rope. I also like the Flaunt, which is a real, real hot pink, but I don't think everybody would like that but I think any and everybody would like these and it's just you know whether you like peachy tones or the rosy tones today I have on the exposed more of a peachy tone so I went with more of a peachy tone lip but you really don't even have to it's not enough to dictate that but that's just usually what I do and um, I love these I love this peachy tone with a purple eye that always looks real pretty but these I just love and they give they're satin, they're, they say baked matte, but they're not matte. They're more of a, like a satin, glowy. I would say they make you glow. Okay, this one, I mean, this is another one that if I want to know that I'm going to love my blush, you know what, I think I used this today. I did, I used this, I didn't use one of those. Yep, I used this. I think I was going to use, I think I used Exposed yesterday. <laughs> that must be what I was thinking of. This is MAC Dolly Mix. And I'm sure everyone's heard of this blush. It's a one of their staples, and it looks really scary, but it's not. It just gives you that good flush, and I know this is what I use now. So you can see it's just beautiful. It's very um, youthful. I think anyone could use this, even from the darkest to the fairest could use this, but just depending on what brush you use and how much you put on. Bronzers. I love bronzers and I will never quit trying bronzers because every day I want just like a different look but I, I would say a standout bronzer for me this year oh and it's powdery is the and I think I'm I see the swirls and I think I'm about to hit pan on this it is the Bobbi Brown golden light number one years and years I tried to use medium and I think I've given away or sold two or three of them and this is the one I should have gotten. This is perfect. Um, it might be too dark for someone, but I really think anyone, just about anyone could use this. It's a beautiful bronzer and I love it. If I want a real sun-kissed, you know, bombshell looking blush or bronzer, that's what I use. And then another one, I could not go without mentioning this. This has been like, if I had to pick one product that just was a standout product of the whole year it would be Laura Mercier Ritual. Now this is a teaser because it's not available anymore but I am just hoping that they will come out with it again because I think everybody just went nuts over it and everyone looks different because they're baked. Um, this is one that has a little bit more brown in it and um, so I use this. I've got this on today and you can see it contours and gives you you definitely don't need a highlighter with this and you really don't even need to blush. I just do sometimes depending on how I use it. But um, love that. It's definitely been one of my favorite products. Okay, brushes. Bronzer brush, my Bobbi Brown has been my favorite. If I had to pick another one, it would be the MAC 130 
8, whatever the dome brush is from MAC. But this one I love. Now my friend Angela says she just got one for Christmas and hers was shedding and it wasn't soft. I think she must have gotten a bum brush because mine is very soft. It hasn't shed. I've washed it a bunch and I love it. It's just perfect for, I think because it's big, but see how it still does have a little bit of a domed part to it. You can still get right in where you want to. And then if you press down further, you know, or harder, you can get more coverage, you know, a bigger area. But um, I just love it. I would, if I lost it, I had the one that they had before this that was flat. And I didn't care for it as much, but I still used it all the time. Um, and then I ended up going to the MAC one. And then when they came out with this one, I fell in love with this one. It's just wonderful, worth every penny. My favorite blush brush would be this one. It's the um, Bobbi Brown blush brush. I love how it's beveled on the sides. So what I usually do is just um, in the blush that I'm going to use, I usually go ahead and tap both sides and then do like this. And then I turn it over and do like this right on the tops of my cheeks. And it's perfect every time. And then I wipe it off on my, I use a um, paper towel every day with the MAC brush cleanser on it and then put it back up. Another blush brush that I love is the MAC 116. And I like using it for ones that I want in a more precise spot. Like if I'm using a real bright one and I just want a little bit like on the apples of my cheeks or back further, I'll use the MAC 116. But that's another one. If I couldn't have this, the MAC 116. Okay, um, let's see. Let's just go with some brushes. And that's, brushes are tough because I love my brushes. Um, but these are just standout brushes. They're ones that are not mentioned all the time, like Sigma brushes. I love my Sedona lace brushes. Um, MAC brushes, of course. Bobby Brown, all those, but these are just some different ones that I really like and I just enjoy a lot and I think you would too. Okay, first, I love the Billy B brushes. Billy B Beauty. I ordered these from Beautylish. He is a makeup artist that I think is phenomenal. I fell in love with him with his Bridget Bardot tutorial and I'll put the link to that video down below because I love it so much. I could do that look every day and never get tired of it. Um, and I ordered these brushes from him. Matter of fact, um, I always forget her name because it, she just puts M usually, but her blog is If Makeup Could Talk. She is the first one that told me about this brush right here and it is the perfect brush for if you want to put like eyeliner on and smudge it out and even wing it up. Um, gel liner, pencil liners, everything. This is the perfect brush for that and it's the number 12. And it's just because it's angled but it's still fluffy enough and has enough give to do that but yet you can still get a good wing. I didn't, I used one of my other ones today so I didn't use it today but I love this brush. And I ended up ordering these and I love them. They're just perfect. So the ones I have are 12, uh, 9 is a good little, this one could be used for so many things. It could be used for liner, a lip brush. Um, I don't use this one as much as these two, well, these three. This is a perfect, it's the um, 6 brush. If I'm in a hurry and I want to put just a shadow all over, there's something about the size of this that goes perfectly in like up to my crease. I don't know what it is about it and I don't know if it would work as well on you but I love this brush and then this one. And this is an odd, it's like a different kind of brush. It's the number eight and I believe I ordered this because I saw him using this in the crease of that tutorial. It is the best if you want, not a cut crease but what I usually do is put it in the color I want and it's when I want to pull that crease color out to here. I'll put it and then I'll just do like that and then I'll take another brush and blend it out and it's just perfection. And um, they're shorter, that would be the one negative because they get lost if I put them in all my other brushes so I just keep them in a separate little cup. But I love them, worth it. And I don't think, I don't think they're real expensive. But um, so those and then of course my Louise Young brushes. These brushes I use every day that I'm doing any kind of crease work at all. Like today, I put on all my shadows and then for the darkest color, I just dot it in there and I take it from the end of the wing and I just do like this. 
I kind of tilt it and it just does the perfect amount and just has the perfect amount of, I don't know, bounce and the perfect point and everything. And I, I hope I said Louise Young. This is the, um, they're usually called, gosh, does it not have it on here? I think they're called LY34 and then the LY34B. And then this is a new one that I got that I am loving. It's the LY13. Just the perfect little, I but guess I like you would it call it a pen, the MAC 219 because it has more give. You can use it in the corner, um, right up. Sometimes I like to do a light shadow just at the very tip top of my brow. I just love this brush. I think you would enjoy it. I'm running out of voice. This one, tried and true, just one of the best cheap brushes ever. It's the Sonia Kashuk. I believe it's called the Medium Blending Brush, and it's either $5.99 or $8.99 or something like that, less than $10. I look for this brush. If I, did I use it today? I think I did. I think I might have started my crease. Usually I'll use this right in the beginning um, and do the medium color in the crease, but it's just a perfect little brush love it i think everybody should have one um and then of course the mac 217. really these i kind of use in the same way the 217 um i like this one for pigments if i ever do use loose pigments the bare mineral pigments like my two favorites are bare skin and nude beach and pebble that's another gosh i can't believe i haven't used pebble in so long i might have to use that tomorrow but um Everybody needs a 217. I gave my mom one for Christmas and she loves it. So those, and I think that's all for brushes. I could go on and on about brushes, but um, eyeliners, you know, I love eyeliners. I've bought, I just ordered one the other day that I'll show if you on Friday. If I had to give up all of my eyeliners and just keep two, I don't have a pencil out here. I didn't pick a pencil. I would say, um, Gosh, if I had to pick a black one, just my good old MAC engraved, I believe is a good black pencil. I would probably pick that one. But if I had to pick just my favorites, it would be this. And I think this is the first, this was my first MAC makeover they used this on me. And this is probably my third pot of it. It's the MAC Gel Liner in Blitz and Glitz. And it's just, I use this all the time, as you will be able to tell. And what I usually do is get some on my brush and just kind of roll it around in the cap to so there's no globs or anything. And what I like about it is it says that it's black with gold pearl, but it's just kind of an off black. It's just, I've got black track too. It's just not as harsh as black, and that's why I love it. And then this Stila pen liner. And um, I watched one of Goss's makeup artist, Goss makeup artist videos this year. And he did that perfect wing every time. And it just, <laughs> I can't say it changed my life because that's so dramatic, but it changed the way I feel about winged liner. I feel very confident I could do it any day, any time because of that video. And what I do is like he does, where you just lay this down and drag it over. And then if there's any left underneath, I just fill it in and I love it. Now this one I love, but the end of it, um, the little point, which is, pretty important to that technique will kind of get broken kind of easy easily i do like the kat von d one like this <laughs> did you hear that sassy sneeze bless you goodness <laughs> um but i do like the kat von d i believe it's trooper is another good one but steel is just easy for me to get because it's hey, when it comes to eyeshadows you know we all love different eyeshadows and different colors, but I picked the ones that just stood out to me and are just, I feel like if you got these shadows, I would feel perfectly safe that you would like them. And one of them is gonna be a surprise. One of my favorite, favorite shadows is this Urban Decay Single Shadow in Midnight Cowboy. And when you look at it, you're gonna think, no way. You know, I don't like glittery shadows, you know, all those things. But I love this right on the lid. And when I say the lid, like the first, for your first little crease or wrinkle. And I also like it in the inner corner. And the first person that I, the person that made me get it was the manager at Ulta, Justine. She had it all over her lid and it looked beautiful. And she's, I'd say she's about my age. And um, it just is a beautiful, it does have a little bit of glitter 
but there's just something about it. It almost reminds me of that RMS Beauty highlighter. It just gives you that little, almost like a wet look, and it's just gorgeous, and it almost has a little bit of a pink tone to it. I've done several little tutorials and used it, and anytime if I want that, like Rosie Huntington eye, where it's just a pretty brown crease with a light lid, I can put that on the lid, and then um, one of these next ones in the crease, and it's going to look pretty. And this is one of the ones that I um, could use right up in the, let me take one of these brushes, like this little um, Louise Young brush I was telling you about, like you could take just a little bit of this and put it right here at that very highest part in the tiniest little amount, and it just lifts your eye and gives you that little bit of, you know, something extra. I just love it. Just try it. If you're at Ulta or Sephora, just give it a try. Just, um, you know, blend it on your hand and see what you think. Definitely one of my favorites. Okay. Oh, gosh. There's so many eyeshadows I could have gone on and on about. But these are the ones that I liked the most. And I just now remember, and I left one in my bathroom. And that is the NARS. Um, and God Created Woman palette. I love that palette. There is that grayish color. Okay, we got to open my quick. drawer to get this. All the other ones were like, pick me, pick me. <laughs> I saw the, I love those Ellis Foss pens that I got. Those are wonderful shadows. That Tom Ford limited edition one, I think it was called Platinum. Oh gosh, one of my subscribers sent it to me. That was a beautiful one. Um, and um, what was that other palette I just saw that was so pretty? Oh, goodness. I can't remember now. But anyway, this would be a good, if you don't have any NARS shadows, this would be a really good palette for you to get because it has just, I mean, it has so many good ones and such different a variety. But that color right there, um, what is it? I don't know if it says the name of it. Um, but beautiful. What a beautiful crease color. And then you get your shimmery shades, um, you know, a black, the dark colors. This is a wonderful palette, and it comes with a nice brush and, I believe, a primer. And it's still available on Sephora site. Would definitely recommend that one. This, so boring, but if I had to pick one palette out of all the naked palettes, including one, two, and three, I would still pick this Naked Basics palette. This is what I use today. This is all I have on my eyes today. I started off with this color in the crease, and I did buy a single of that, I think. Or no, just a regular Naked. I used Naked 2 first in the crease, and then I went back with um, Faint, and then a little bit of Crave at the end. And for my highlight, I used um, that W-O-S. I love the foxy color, and then the Venus will give you some um, shimmer. This, everyone needs this palette. I have bought it for everyone that my mom, my sister-in-law, I just think it looks boring. You might say I've got enough shadows, but this would be a good one. I, I have full confidence that you would love it. Bobbi Brown shadows. I like all of the only Bobbi Brown shadow that I have ever had a problem with is Rose Gold. And I've bought it twice, and I love it, and I might even give it another try because sometimes... I'll use a different brush and maybe make something work because I love that color, but it never would go on really nice for me. But this is Bobbi Brown Taupe, and I believe Vanessa, the Bombshell Sweet, is the first person that I heard about this from. It's number four, and it's wonderful. I could use this every day in my crease and all over. It's just a beautiful, beautiful shadow. I think everyone would love it, and I think it's awesome. Okay, Burberry shadows are just so worth the money. I would much rather see you get a Burberry shadow than a Chanel or a Dior or any of those high-end. I love them. Now, I got, I probably got about seven or eight of them because I went on a little tangent, and I don't use them as if much I as I should. If I had to pick two Burberry shadows for you to start out with that I think are just so pretty and basic and you would love it would be chestnut it's different than all of those other taupey browns it has a lot more of a reddish tone but not too red not like um 
the MAC one that we all use. Not soft brown, but um, brown script. It's not as red as that. It's just a real milk chocolatey, like Hershey's color brown. Maybe a little bit more red than that, but just a real pretty, unusual brown. And then this one is the almond, I believe. I think this might be one of the first ones I ever got. And this is a beautiful, just all over. This is one of those that if you want to take like that big Billy B brush and just pack it on and just go all around your eye, blend it out and go, it would be a beautiful color. It's light, it's not too dark, not too light. It's dark enough to give you some dimension. Like if you have hooded eyes and you need that dimension like I do, um, it's just beautiful. So. If I had to say one shadow, your first Burberry shadow, I would say Almond would be a My safe standout, bet. standout palette of the year. By far, just, there is just nothing like this palette is the Tom Ford Coco Mirage. It's the 03. And when you get it, you will think, okay. <laughs> I mean, you just will think it's, yeah, it's pretty and everything. There is something about these shadows that is unlike any um, other shadow. Without a doubt, my favorite palette of the year. Beautiful. When I wear these shadows, it, I can just get the prettiest looks. They blend out like, it is amazing how well they blend and how dark they are, but they never look harsh. It's just beautiful. I mean, probably my favorite palette. Definitely my favorite over any of my Dior palettes or Chanel palettes or Bobbi Brown palettes or MAC palettes, definitely, or Urban Decay. I can't imagine another. I do like that Guerlain palette I got too, but not as much as that. I just love it, and I would feel just very, very confident if you got that. Okay, lips. Oh, gosh. I have barely ever met a lipstick I didn't like, and I love so many all the time and it would be so hard for me to pick my favorites but Tom Ford lipsticks are just my favorite if I if I had to pick one brand of lipstick for the rest of my life it would be Tom Ford if I had to pick two colors for you to try it would be nude vanilla which is like the ultimate nude with a pink tone to it most wearable most beautiful nude ever. I mean, it's just gorgeous. And then the one I have on today, which is Spanish pink. This pink, you can take so many different ways. Um, my friend Angela, I met her at Ulta. She was getting her hair done by Kate. And um, I try to meet her when she comes in town because she lives a couple hours away. And um, she had on the Spanish pink with a bronzel liner from Lancome, which is everyone should have bronzel and um, the Buxom White Russian. And I haven't tried that yet, but she said that was her go-to combination. And she said that she had actually, she said, I don't think I've gone through a lipstick since high school, and she has gone through a Spanish pink. And um, it's just a beautiful pink. It's so, today I have it on with Subculture to give it a little bit more of a peachy, more nude look, but you can wear it with, gosh, Dior Linen, any liner and carry it different ways. Glosses. I love all different kinds of glosses. My two standout have been, I wish this wasn't on the side so you could see how much I've used. This is the Buxom Chelsea Gloss. I have it on now over the Spanish Pink. Um, Taylor, um, what is her channel? Well Tailored. Um, I'll put her link down below too. She's the one that got us turned on to this. I love this over the Burberry English Rose too. That's another lipstick that should get an honorable mention. This gloss, you'll think it's too sparkly. It just makes every lipstick better. And it doesn't take a lot. I usually just put, you know, one little bit on like that. Because if you put too much, it'll make it'll go outside the lines and make it too, it'll change the look of what I like about this. But it just seems to make every lipstick better. And I love it. Now for a lip gloss to wear on its own, this one. And I just got this from Brianna uh, about a month ago, I'd say. It's the Pink Slip One Lux Gloss from Sarah Happ. And I've used Sarah Happ's lip scrub and her lip treatment for years, and I love them. But this gloss, I like the nude one, but there is something about this color, the pink one, that is just beautiful. It's, um, this is one that I would wear, I wore it Monday to the gym, right by itself. It's just, 
and it feels like no other gloss I've ever tried. It almost has like a velvety, gel-like, creamy texture, and it lasts a long, long time on your lips, so I love that. And I'll bet this video is like, I can't see how long I've been on, but I bet it is just so long. So I'm going to show you my gym outfit of the day. And you might think that I would be one of those people that loves all the matching gym outfits, but I'm not. I just, I told, I went to, I'm going to a trainer. I went Monday and I've got a little routine set up and I love the routine he set up for me. And I'll do a different video on that because it's too much to get into. But I just am not into workout clothes. That just doesn't thrill me and I don't want to spend the money. I would rather buy some things that I'm going to wear otherwise. And I think my body looks better in a tighter top and looser pants anyway. But I do have like Monday, I wore my Lululemon um, workout pants. And um, I bought tennis shoes that I love. I bought them a couple years ago. You probably saw them. They're the bright Nike. I think they're called Nike Free. They're the ones I don't have to wear socks with. And I am crazy about them. So if you're like me and you don't like tennis shoes and you hate socks, I hate socks. I barely own any socks because on cold, cold days, I just put my Uggs on. And um, so I love these tennis shoes. And so here's my I workout have on, I actually have on a James Purse tank today because I don't think I have to wash my other new black ones. And then my sweatpants are just some of the loose sweatpants from Victoria's Secret. And then um, these are my tennis shoes. And they're the ones, like I said, that you don't have to wear socks with. I love them. And um, so that's it. <laughs> Accessories for the gym. I try not to wear hardly anything. I did put in a little pair of, um, I love these earrings. They're my Betsy Johnson little studs and they're part of her basic collection. They're the little flowers. So a lot of times I'll just throw those or a pair of rhinestones. If I wasn't doing a video, I probably wouldn't have put any in just to go to the gym. And I just take this with me like a teenager on my arm and um, just put my hair up usually just like that because I don't want to, you know, crimp it up too much because with that's another thing whole other story we'll have to do a whole other hair video but um i still have my extensions in i still love them um but i think the clipping them in might be better for me than the beaded in ones for the gym so but i'm i think i'm getting ready to change my hairstyle up a little bit so i've probably talked i don't know how long i don't know how much of this i'll have to edit out but i hope you guys have a good day a good week and i will see you on friday Bye bye